Hi guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Dong Hua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. Yes, Yuting has become a spirit as an instrument spirit, integrated into the Mithril Foundation battle armor, providing Long Haochen with the ultimate enhancement. Him of the Goddess of Light emanates a dense light flame, the holy light naturally rises, and in overall momentum, he is not the slightest bit weaker than Ah Bao. The pressure of their breaths clashes with each other, either gaining an advantage. The impression Long Haochen gives Ah Bao is not one of strength, but of purity, an exceptionally pure aura. It is precisely this purity, allowing him to stand firm in momentum. The battle begins at this moment without any warning, Long Haochen initiates the attack first. Without using any skills, sliding forward, and striking forward. As him of the goddess of light traces a beautiful trajectory in the air, a strange scene unfolds. In everyone's perception, Long Haochen seems to have disappeared, leaving only the sword. A sword strikes, the world changes color, as if slicing through the air. But a bow grunts, taking a half step back. Another slide, a turn. And a horizontal slash with him of the goddess of light, Long Haochen's movements. Don't seem fast at all, but they give a strange, viscous feeling. As his opponent, Ah Bao feels it most profoundly. Long Haochen's first strike does indeed seem to cut through the air, but it's this very strike. That completely blocks all of Ah Bao's attack paths. It even anticipates the movements Ah Bao is about to make. If Ah Bao continues his attack, then Long Haochen's preemptive strike will land on him first. For anyone else, even if they use legendary level equipment, Ah Bao wouldn't pay it any mind. What does getting hit by a sword matter? The terrifying and powerful external spiritual power of the heaven-defying demon dragon race is not afraid of any attacks. However, Long Haochen is different, his sword moves like a gazelle's antlers, leaving no trace, yet it possesses the supreme sword intent of unity between heaven and man. Faced with such a sword, Ah Bao feels a strong sense of crisis, as if getting hit, he will undoubtedly suffer severe injuries. The battle between Long Haochen and Ah Bao is completely different from when he faced the 8th ranked jock leader initially, back then. He was the team leader, shouldering the heavy responsibility of rescuing another demon hunting squad, so he had to deliver the heaviest blow to the enemy in the shortest time. Therefore, he did not hesitate to merge with Hao Yu and Yating at the cost of long-term weakness. Unleashing his strongest state, launching powerful and fierce attacks to overcome the enemy. However, the current situation is different. Firstly, Ah Bao's strength is absolutely unmatched by the jock leader. Even if Long Haochen merged with Hao Yu, it would be impossible to kill him in a limited time. At this moment, Long Haochen utilizes ancient techniques from the Tower of Eternity and the sword intent from him of the goddess of light is his best choice, as a scion of light. After a year of closed-door cultivation, Long Haochen has truly merged the two, and his strength cannot be simply described by spiritual power alone. Long Haochen is well aware that, if he has a chance to defeat Ah Bao, it comes from his sword intent, sword heart, and sword technique. When Long Haochen strikes with the first sword, he has already put life and death aside. Everything outside is irrelevant to him, in his eyes and heart, there is only the opponent. He has completely entered the state of clear sword intent and unified sword heart. His body moves freely, the sword follows his heart, and simple attacks in his hands. Naturally turning decay into magic, coupled with the divine sword him. Of the goddess of light, he manages to force Ah Bao back twice with consecutive strikes. However, the Ah Bao that Long Haochen faces now is not the one he encountered in Dream Paradise initially. At that time, Ah Bao was constrained by the rules of Dream Paradise, and his internal spiritual power was limited to 10,000 and all of Long Haochen's actions were protected by Dream Paradise, allowing him to suppress Ah Bao. But now, what he faces is, Ah Bao in a complete state. And having improved after painful contemplation, as he takes the second step backward Ah Bao has already launched a counterattack. He heavily steps on the ground with his left foot, amidst a loud rumbling sound, his surging dark spiritual power erupts like a fountain into the sky, completely obscuring Ah Bao's figure within. As Long Haochen slides forward, the third sword is thrust like lightning towards that purple light pillar, the sword radiance erupting from him of the goddess of light is instantly repelled by the purple-black light pillar. A heavy chop, a simple and unadorned heavy chop, Ah Bao roars in anger, and swings the purple-black heavy sword fiercely with his right hand. In that moment, a majestic and divine aura emanates. The purple-black light pillar completely integrates into his heavy sword in an instant, transforming into a terrifying sword radiance ten meters long, directly slashing towards Long Haochen. At the same time, within a radius of thirty meters, all the air is instantaneously sucked dry by the stagnating dark spiritual power. And the space completely collapses, preventing Long Haochen from retreating, and causing his body to be extremely sluggish. As the prince of the demon clan, Ah Bao's talent is not much inferior to Long Haochen's. When Long Haochen strikes with the first sword, he already senses, that in terms of skill, he may still not be a match for this human. 
However, skill in battle never guarantees victory. Although Ao Bao is powerful, he is not sluggish, leveraging his strengths to attack the opponent's weaknesses, which he will never fail to do. Long Haochen's sword intent, sword heart, and combat skills have an advantage, but Ao Bao's advantage is even more pronounced, which is his spiritual power that is ten times greater than Long Haochen's. Long Haochen's forward steps come to a sudden stop, his left foot step touching the ground, his knee bending to release force, stopping his forward momentum. Simultaneously, the ripple of light in his left hand is released, letting it fall towards the ground, landing on the tip of his left foot. He switches to holding him of the goddess of light with both hands and makes a surprising move. Twisting his body, straightening his chest, he lifts the divine sword. His sensation can no longer be described as flowing water. The most accurate description would be a whole, a perfect unity of man and sword. A layer of dark golden light extends from under his feet upwards, ultimately condensing at the tip of him of the goddess of light. A gentle light burst and blossomed quietly, lightly colliding with the terrifyingly huge purple-black sword. Radiance. No, describing it as a collision is not appropriate, it should be called a touch. Twisting his body, Long Haoshan moves with the sword, completing a full 360-degree rotation, and what's strange is. A Bao's powerful attack is unexpectedly deflected to the side by him, sliding past him. The most powerful attack does not erupt at all. Just in this moment, Long Haochen's four wings behind him suddenly flap, and he rushes forward like a lightning-fast fish, sticking close to the ground. His left footstep lifts, the ripple of light is taken up again, both hands with dual swords, almost instantly reaching Ah Bao. During Long Haochen's forward charge, the collapsed space unexpectedly splits apart from his body, erupting an unparalleled solid sword intent, actually slicing through the heavily compressed air, and the low dragon roar instantly becomes intense. Dark golden flames burst forth in the brief moment of ground skimming. Long Haochen's momentum has already reached its peak. Boom! Ah Bao's terrifying sword strike hits the ground, and the surroundings instantly turn into a purple-black color, accompanied by a loud rumble and collapse, as if experiencing a massive earthquake. The earth is split open by a terrifying wound, and it is. At this moment, Long Haochen has already reached Ah Bao's front, his whole person sweeping towards Ah Bao like a tornado. If someone could see Long Haochen's movements at this moment, they would clearly see. The ripple of light in his left hand first thrusting, transforming into thousands of sword radiance, and then instantly converging into one point, condensing into a single point, heading straight for Ah Bao's right hand holding the sword. Meanwhile, the hymn of the goddess of light in his right hand is close to the ground, raising a terrifying golden rainbow, carrying a resounding dragon roar as it slashes towards Ah Bao's body. Moreover, this terrifying golden rainbow is not huge in fact, it is smaller than the original sword radiance emitted by the hymn of the goddess of light but it is completely solid dark gold, like a tangible entity. Ah Bao admits that his estimation of Long Haochen is already high. But in his heart, Long Haochen is still just a human knight of less than the seventh rank. He never expected that his thunderous strike could be resolved by Long Haochen in such an effortless manner. And not only that, Long Haochen can also launch a close-range attack at the first opportunity. Long Haochen's timing for this strike is just right, taking advantage of the opening left by Ah Bao's all-out attack. And his entry speed is extremely fast, not affected in the slightest by the Outbreak of the Purple Black Sword Radiance. Soaring Dragon Strike Yes, the sword strike unleashed by Long Haochen with him of the Goddess of Light is indeed a soaring dragon strike, but it is not upward, instead, it is directed straight ahead. With the improvement of his cultivation, his application of these knight skills has reached another level, completely unconstrained by the skills themselves, it can be said, that any skill in his hands can be used creatively. A faint light gleams, divine light radiates from Long Haochen's eyes, the rich dark gold emitted by the Mithril Foundation battle armor adheres to the surface like viscous liquid. Faced with Long Haochen's dual sword attacks, Ah Bao is currently unable to counterattack. However, his practical combat experience is extremely rich. Seeing that he is at a disadvantage, he decisively makes the right choice, abandoning his sword. Long Haochen is already too close to him. His purple black giant sword is much larger than Long Haochen's hymn of the Goddess of Light, and he has just launched an all out strike, with no time to retract and defend himself. Instead, he becomes constrained. Decisively letting go, his figure retreats explosively, and at the same time, his left hand transforms into a palm, striking towards the ripple of light, while his right hand condenses into a fist, directly smashing downwards, colliding with the sword radiance raised by the hymn of the goddess of light. A muffled sound, Ah Bao's left hand is pierced by the ripple of light, instantly suffering defeat. The ripple of light ripples slightly, being patted away, but this radiant great heavy sword carries the power of the twin dragons of light rain and the attack of myriad swords leaving a bloody wound on Ah Bao's left hand. Long Haochen's self-created radiance ripple is brought to its utmost potential in the attack of myriad swords. Even Ah Bao's several tens of thousands level external spiritual power cannot completely resist it. At the same time, the collision on the other side also occurs, without a loud roar.
when Ah Bao's fist strikes to him of the goddess of light, he is suddenly horrified to find that he has a feeling of power being used in vain. You see, in his previous awareness, the hymn of the goddess of light was a potential threat to his life. Therefore, he had already exerted all his strength in this punch. Yet, at the moment when the fist and the blade collided, Ah Bao only felt that the power in his fist was forcibly absorbed by the radiant and magnificent dark golden heavy sword in Long Houchen's hand, and a significant portion of it at that. Then, under the influence of this force, Long Houchen's body began to spin, dissipating the remaining force from that punch, and the dark golden light suddenly retracted, but Long Houchen's body was already sweeping towards him like a rapidly spinning vortex. In fact, when Ah Bao dealt with Long Houchen's attack, he had already fallen into a trap. Long Houchen and he faced each other. But during the attack, Long Houchen's left hand struck his left hand, and his right hand struck his right hand. In other words, Long Houchen's dual swords attacked in a crisscross manner. So, after the impact, he immediately felt a sense of rotation throughout his entire body. Without the need to directly confront Ah Bao's formidable strength, he just needed to fully exert force and utilize it. Fight and Slaughter Spinning Sword The complete or evolved version of the Fight and Slaughter Spinning Sword it's only at this moment that Long Houchen's sword intent fully erupts, an extremely terrifying sword intent spreading across the entire battlefield like a geyser, whether demon or human. Witnessing the battle before them, the gaze of every person is dumbfounded. Even Long Houchen's companions are showing expressions of disbelief. Yes, it's truly unbelievable. What kind of strength does Abao possess? He's at the peak of the eighth rank, a terrifying existence with nearly 100,000 internal spiritual power. However, from the beginning of this battle, Long Houchen has completely suppressed Ah Bao, not only leading Ah Bao around, but also having the absolute upper hand. Every time he makes a move, it can be said that he accurately predicts Ah Bao's intentions. In such a situation, Ah Bao is clearly at a significant disadvantage. In Madair, Long Houchen has transformed into a dark golden light wheel, bursting forth with overwhelming sword intent as if it's attached to Ah Bao. The attack speed of Long Houchen's fight and slaughter spinning sword is truly too fast, even if it were the creator of the fight and slaughter spinning sword, Long Xingyu as long as he suppresses his internal spiritual power to the same level as Long Houchen's, and absolutely cannot present the fight and slaughter spinning sword in such a perfect manner. Long Xingyu's fight and slaughter spinning sword also possesses sword intent. But the sword intent he comprehended from him of the goddess of light is completely on a different level. Long Houchen's internal spiritual power is indeed far inferior to Ah Bao's, and his external spiritual power is the same. However, each of his sword strikes makes Ah Bao feel unable to resist. Unity of man and heaven, it's just four words when spoken, very simple. But how many can truly achieve it? Integrating all the power of one's equipment, internal and external spiritual power, and spirit furnace into one, that is by no means as simple as addition. Moreover, don't forget, the greatest secret of the fight and slaughter spinning sword lies in borrowing power. The increasing pressure forces the demon prince Ab Bao to step back step by step. He only feels that the sword intent bursting from Long Houchen's dual swords is getting stronger and stronger. Each sword is so heavy and he has lost his weapon, and doesn't even have the energy to use his mental power to control the heavy sword formed by the congealed unicorn horn to return to him. Blood splatters, you can clearly see, while Ah Bao is resisting with all his might. His own dark spiritual power can indeed block Long Houchen's sword body, but it cannot resist the terrifying sword intent. Wounds have started to appear on his body, each one so clear, blood splattering. Yu Ye stares blankly at the battlefield, when Long Houchen confidently steps forward. To confront Ah Bao, she only feels her mind going blank, it's over, everything is over, how could he possibly be Brother Bao's opponent? Brother Bao's strength is no longer suppressed by dream paradise, if they die, I will die too. If they die, I will die too. I don't know why, Yi Ye's feelings are not fear, but an indescribable discomfort. However, when the battle truly begins, everything doesn't go according to the script she imagined in her mind, as the mighty Ah Bao is. Completely suppressed by Long Houchen, the spiritual power gap between the two sides seems to have disappeared and the attacking power unleashed by the peak 6th rank Long Houchen is probably unmatched even by ordinary 8th rank powerhouses. Each of his swords indeed has only tens of thousands of spiritual power, but with the amplification of legendary equipment, and the boost from the terrifying sword intent, how can it be described with just 10,000 spiritual power? The collision of light and darkness clearly shows that pure light has surpassed powerful darkness. The advantage in attributes is fully utilized by Long Houchen, and the upgraded fight and slaughter spinning sword radiates a strong dark golden light. Roar. Under continuous setbacks, Ah Bao roars angrily to the sky. A strange energy fluctuation suddenly bursts from his body, the might of a dragon. The might of the unparalleled demon dragon. Rapidly spinning in the air, Long Houchen's figure suddenly appears somewhat disordered, and the rotating fight and slaughter spinning sword finally experiences a momentary pause. In the distance, the four large eyes of Hao Yu flash with a purple light, its powerful claws instinctively grip. 
into the ground, but it restrains itself and does not launch an attack. Taking advantage of this momentary pause by Long Haochen, Ah Bao suddenly takes a step back, then, a dazzling blackness erupts from his body. Black is dark. Why does it give a glaring sensation? Because the intent emanating from this blackness is incredibly sharp and dominant. The black radiance doesn't spread too far, only enveloping Ah Bao's body. And you can clearly see, the black radiance condenses into a black dragon form, hovering around Ah Bao with fangs and claws. And when Long Haochen's fight and slaughter spinning sword catches up again, it cannot collide with Ah Bao's actual body but collides with the black light shield instead. The undying body of the demon dragon, an incredibly powerful skill of the unparalleled demon dragon race. Ah Bao stands within the light shield formed by the undying body of the demon dragon. Coldly watching the fight and slaughter spinning sword continuously attacking him in midair, the dark golden light sphere emitting a piercing and tearing sound, his blood-red eyes seem as if blood is about to drip from them. At this moment, Ah Bao has purple blood oozing from all over his body, and countless scales have developed fine cracks. All of this is brought about by the sword intent attached to the two heavy swords in Long Haochen's hands. Ah Bao takes a deep breath, steps back with his right foot, retracts his right fist to his waist, and places his left hand in a strange posture across his chest. Under a menacing aura, the formidable dark energy instantly reaches its peak. A massive purple-black light and shadow emerge behind him, and you can vaguely see, it's a gigantic purple-black pillar, with a colossal dragon coiling around it. Isn't that the first demon god pillar of the demon god emperor? The sensation of collapsing air reappears, but this time it's not limited to a few dozen square meters. Everyone present can feel the collapse of space. There's even a tremendous suction pulling at their bodies. The purple-black color on Ah Bao's body instantly turns completely black, even his blood-red eyes. It's in this moment that his entire gaze has completely changed, becoming incredibly solid and incredibly dominant. It's as if in this world there is only him. Fist intent. Yes, if Long Haochen uses sword intent, then what Ah Bao is unleashing at this moment? is terrifying fist intent based on the bloodline of the unparalleled demon dragon race. After all, his cultivation is far. Superior to Long Haochen's, his fist intent erupts, affecting a much larger range than Long Haochen. Both demon hunting squads are shocked at the same time. Ah Bao hasn't even thrown his punch yet. And already it reveals such terrifying power. If he actually unleashes it, how much more terrifying could it be? Everyone can see, Ah Bao looks as if he's bathed in blood, but it's only surface wounds, not affecting his core. And how long can Long Haochen's full power eruption last? Nobody knows. Just at this moment, while Long Haochen, who was swiftly spinning, hits the light shield once again, his body suddenly halts awkwardly, and his four wings spread open, leaving him suspended in midair. The flowing light from his four wings suddenly rushes towards the tip of his sword, and him of the goddess of light begins to tremble slightly. Meanwhile, Long Haochen, floating in midair, closes his eyes, entering into a peculiar state. Ah Bao's cold gaze has been fixed on Long Haochen the entire time, and upon witnessing this scene, he can't help but feel a slight tremor in his heart, for a simple reason. Isn't Long Haochen in this state the same as when he shattered my unicorn horn? With a single sword, the ripples of light disappear once again, but this time, they vanish into the eternal melody. Long Haochen grasps him of the goddess of light with both hands, tilting his head slightly towards the sky. And a dazzling golden light suddenly appears on his body, this golden light is like a spark, igniting all the light in the sky. A strange, chant-like hum resonates in the air, behind Long Haochen, the sensation of collapsing space instantly disappears. Soft, golden light quietly rises behind him, accompanied by the peculiar hum of the chant, an ethereal golden light gradually appears. The light is extremely elusive, with only a faint golden hue, and one can vaguely see a humanoid figure, while the rest is a vast expanse of gold, with no discernible form. However, him of the goddess of light in Long Haochen's hands emits a strange brilliance, and the originally blunt heavy sword now radiates an extremely sharp aura. What's even more frightening is that, this sharpness paradoxically gives a completely opposite sense of gentleness. The feelings of humans and demons are entirely different, and all demon hunters under this golden light feel as if bathed in a gentle breeze, while members of the Royal Level 17 Demon Hunting Squad, who had burned their life flames earlier, feel a warm sensation all over their bodies, an indescribable comfort. As if even their vitality is quietly recovering. A strange radiance appears on Long Haochen's face. At this very moment, he exudes a sense of spiritual connection, yet different from how he was in Dream Paradise. Taking a step forward, he thrusts his fist, and the extraordinary fist intent of the unparalleled demon dragon instantly erupts. As the prince of the demon race, being able to harness the power of the first demon god pillar, signifies that Ah Bao. As the air has begun evolving into the true first demon god, that terrifying fist intent seems to completely tear through the void, endless black, like a black hole opening in front of Long Haochen, as if it wants to completely engulf his body. And just at this moment, Long Haochen's sword lightly descends, the dark gold on the sword once again turns into gold, but it's a splendid multicolored gold, 
with the seven colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, seven colors in total, all blending with the gold on his sword. From reddish gold to the final purple gold, the entire process is rapid, but it feels like a dazzling display of colors quietly falling under the sun's illumination. When the sword and fist make contact in the air, there is no immediate explosion, but they stick together, creating a brief moment of stagnation. It's at this moment that Long Haochen opens his eyes, and in his eyes, there is a gentle white halo. In sharp contrast to Ah Bao's black eyes, their gazes clash wildly, one wild and explosive, the other gentle and soothing, creating incomparable sparks. The next moment, a roar finally erupts. Amidst the terrifying explosion, an extremely terrifying halo suddenly bursts from the core of their collision, transforming into a ring of gold and black mixed light that rapidly expands outward. Whether demon hunting squads or anti-demon hunting squads, their first reaction at this moment is to turn and run, and all employ their best defensive skills. Despite this, in the midst of this terrifying explosion, these individuals and demons are knocked down like wheat before the mighty shockwaves. Ah Bao's body slides along the ground like a black arrow, desperately trying to control his body, but no matter how hard he tries he can't. The wounds he previously suffered spray blood like crushed oranges during his retreat. His complexion instantly turns pale. In contrast, Long Haochen is the opposite, his dazzling golden figure soars into the sky under the immense impact. But there's one thing they have in common, and that is the dimming of the radiance they emit. The radiance of him of the goddess of light in Long Haochen's hand has completely dimmed. And Yi Ting's figure disappears in a flash, directly merging into Long Haochen's body and disappearing. Long Haochen himself, completely enveloped in the Mithril Foundation battle armor, doesn't show much. But what can be seen is that, on his legendary great armor, numerous wrinkles have appeared, resembling ripples on a pond stirred by the wind. It seems that if it were any more intense, the Mithril Foundation battle armor would be completely scrapped. Silence falls over the battlefield, and at this moment, everyone is left speechless. What a terrifying collision! A peak 6th rank powerhouse, colliding with a peak 8th rank, actually producing such terrifying energy fluctuations. Even if Long Haochen loses, he has every reason to be proud. Moreover, from the current situation, Long Haochen might not necessarily be the loser. The first to rise from the ground is a black figure, with a light purple long hair. While others are still shocked by the terrifying collision, she has quietly disappeared into the air like a ghost, unnoticed by the others. It's precisely because of the horror of that collision, that no one notices her presence and actions at this moment. Ah Bao finally regains control of his retreating body, and the black-purple heavy sword reappears in his grasp, hands gripping the hilt, using the sword's blade to support his body inserted into the ground, his gaze revealing a trace of depth. Long Haochen's body slowly descends from the sky, and the Mithril Foundation battle armor has regained its original bright silver color, no longer emitting the golden color infused by Long Haochen's spiritual power. The two lock eyes from a distance, refusing to yield an inch. I didn't expect you could borrow divine power. No wonder you dared to face my challenge. Ah Bao's voice is cold and profound, not showing any signs of injury. Long Haochen calmly says, Didn't you borrow the power of the first demon god pillar? As his body slowly descends, the distance between the two is closing in. Demon hunting squads and anti-demon hunting squads are getting up one after another, watching the two in the field with lingering fear. Anti-demon hunting squads slowly press towards the center, while the demon hunters gather together, melee classes on the outside, and magic classes on the inside, both sides ready for battle. At any moment, Ah Bao speaks solemnly. I have to admit, you are the most respectable opponent in my life. As a human, you're younger than me, and your cultivation is lower than mine, yet. You can contend with me based on your own strength to this extent. You have earned my respect. If our spiritual powers were equal, I believe, I wouldn't be your match, even if I used the demon dragon's true form. Long Haochen has now gently descended to the ground, and as he touches the ground, his body staggers uncontrollably for a moment. He quickly uses the divine sword to support himself, stabilizing his posture. Only Long Haochen's companions know how dire his situation is. Right now, because at the moment of the collision between Long Haochen and Ah Bao, the life-sharing link of the soul chain has been activated. At this moment, all members of the martial level number 64 demon hunting squad, except for Chai Er who is hidden in the air, all others have pale faces, with blood flowing from the corners of their mouths, all severely injured. It is conceivable that Ah Bao's fist intent is truly terrifying. Ah Bao is right, as a god's descendant. Long Haochen's final strike just now was indeed assisted by the power of the goddess of light, otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to withstand Ah Bao's fist. Intent. No matter how strong his sword intent is, without enough spiritual power to drive it, he couldn't unleash sufficient power. Long Haochen, with legendary equipment and fused with Yuting, actually has a cultivation level close to the 8th rank. However, there is still a huge difference in spiritual power between the two sides, not to mention Ah Bao being an extraordinary demon dragon, with tens of thousands of external spiritual powers. It may seem that, 
Ah Bao is severely injured, but in reality, Long Hao Chen's injuries are much more severe than Ah Bao's. If it weren't for the life-sharing link with his companions, the collision just now, Long Hao Chen's body would likely have been shattered under the protection of the Mithril Foundation battle armor. What a pity! Ah Bao suddenly shook his head gently. Long Hao Chen smiled calmly and said, Are you going to break the promise? Is that so? Ah Bao sneered. Breaking a promise? No, this battle is not over, let's call it a draw for now. How can I be considered breaking the promise? If I were just an ordinary demon, having you as an opponent would be an honor. I would use my own strength to defeat you. I would step on you and become the stepping stone to my peak. Unfortunately, I am not an ordinary demon. I am the demon clan crown prince, the son of the demon god emperor, the future inheritor of the first pillar, the demon god. I cannot let you continue to improve. The future of a god's descendant is unpredictable, I admit. I don't have absolute certainty that I can defeat you in the future. In that case, for the sake of the demon clan, I can only strangle you in the cradle. Long Hao Chen also smiled. You make a valid point. If you give me another three years, you would definitely not be my opponent. I never expected you to keep your promise. It seems that this battle of ours can only continue when we meet again. I hope you'll be lucky enough to create a similar situation when that time comes. Ah Bao laughed, this time, his smile no longer carried a cold demeanor. What's wrong? Do you think you still have a chance to escape today? Long Hao Chen calmly said. Why not? In fact, you are now just a dying force. I admit, my situation is worse than yours. But you have subordinates surrounding us, don't I have companions? Ah Bao's face changed, sensing a sudden warning, but he didn't feel any threat. And at this moment, a black figure quietly appeared among the anti-demon hunting squads. The black figure is petite and slender, and at the moment of her silent appearance, not a single anti-demon hunting squads. Member noticed her in advance. Massive black wings spread out, an extremely terrifying killing intent erupted instantly. All anti-demon hunting squads are experts of 7th rank or higher. But at this moment, every anti-demon hunting squad member felt fear. The essence of killing intent impacted them, and each one felt the crisis they were facing. Extreme terror, absolute pressure, endless coldness. Following that, a black radiance quietly flashed in the air. The black radiance seems very slender, but it's in the moment it shines. The bodies of four 7th rank demons instantly stiffen, and the next moment, all their life breaths have completely disappeared. 